Yevan Peter Nicholas, Fred, Saka Sandy. My name is Rian Kansime. I come from Mbara. I'm a Mihima. I studied uh, economics, University of Kingston. I graduated my bachelor's degree and I've recently just qualified in a, a master's in a, in a diploma in international money laundering. I went to a school in London called Wellington Primary School and then I went to an all-girls school called Wardergrave School for Girls. I went there all alone without my sisters and then I went to university called Kingston and I graduated with a HR degree. Rianne. Na umeti inga kupati, yali ne, neba ganda yuba vidi, I think, ya yeah. Abigao ne Ruth. Yeah, but I think na mwala wakupati ne ngamba, oh, mwala no, like, uh, murunji, I wanna talk to her. He somehow got interested in me and started chasing me around the whole night. <laughs> and she refused to give me her number. Omanyi... I think in London, bo meeting on wall or so a number, yeah, then you can talk the following day. So my target was to get her number so we could be able to talk after. I think Nasoka Mulaoksa Wanganya, but it went on and on and she refused. Um and at first I was not interested at all. I was just busy having fun with my sister and my cousin. And then uh, I ignored him the whole night. You know, but I was very, very persistent that I wanted to get her number. But he persisted. And then by the end of the night, he approached me and I just kind of said, fine, we can exchange numbers. And uh, that was it. We started talking for about a year. We obviously were both fairly young. We didn't know what we were what we were going to end up doing, if we were going to be together, if we were going to maybe see how we like each other, but then go our separate ways. I found a lot of qualities of me, muye, kuganga chitinga ugamati obayenze na ye in another person. And that's how we became girlfriend and boyfriend. And then we continued on after some years. We got engaged. I think the one that stands out is when we, I arranged to, to propose to her. I remember it took me like, I don't know, it took me like six months. I consulted almost every friend, every person who sells diamonds in Hatton Garden in London. And every person who has a ring, I was asking how much does it have to cost? It has to take three times your salary every month. But when I got the ring in the end, I was like, yes, I have the ring now. Nicholas took me to Amsterdam in the Netherlands. And I just thought we were going, in fact, I thought we were going to see some Ugandan artists, Radio and Weasel, and because I, I like them. So I thought, yeah, let's go, we'll enjoy it. And in fact, we got to the airport and he couldn't go through security. For some reason, there was something in his bag. He couldn't go through security. So he started telling me, you go ahead, leave me alone. You go ahead, you go without me. But uh, the ring, obviously, I kept it in my pocket because I don't want to lose this expensive ring. And uh, in the airport, you go through scanners. And uh, they told us they have to check everything as we go into the airport. And I remember Rian is always concerned about me. Are you okay? So when I went through the scanner, I think the machine beeped. So that means I had a metal on me. But I didn't want Rian to know that I had a metal on me. So. She kept on understanding, babe, what happened? The metal went over and I said, I just shouted, Rihanna, just go away. So she walked away crying because I had shouted her at the airport in front of people. But the issue is me, I didn't want her to be able to see the ring. And I thought, this is weird. And then I just left him alone. I just thought he was being grumpy. And, and now, after all that time has passed, I realised it was my ring. It kept beeping through the security <laughs> and they wouldn't allow him to go through and he was trying to tell them 
very quietly and discreetly that I don't want her to know. And there I was thinking he was just shouting at me for no reason. My plan was to propose on the last day when we were there, but we were there for three days, but I was every time scared, touch, feeling my pockets in case I lose the ring. So in the end, we got, I hired a boat, I think on the Amsterdam Canal, and we went on the boat at night. So just as we sat there on the boat and she was like, oh baby, this is really nice, We're enjoying the views. I said, Rian, you know something, it's funny, this trip I've lost, I've spent all the money, but I don't know what we're gonna do. And we have two days to go. And she's like, really, don't worry. I was like, but I only have this left. Are you able to take this? And uh, I brought the ring out. I kind of started hyperventilating. <laughs> And um, I was so excited. I had no idea that that's what was going on. Um, I love my ring and I was just very excited. And I can't believe he pulled off the surprise. And I normally think I'm very good at detecting things, but he did, he did very well. And then the next challenge was Rianne meeting my family and me meeting her family in Africa, in Uganda. We were both worried about that and um, I think when we traveled to Uganda, Rian was not ready for me to meet her dad. But I said, I don't care if he beats me or he f kicks me or he tells me or he spits at me, but I have to meet him. And Rian kept on looking for excuses and uh, trying to pr make sure that I don't get to meet the man. But I decided that I have to meet the gentleman. So the first time I met him, Rian said, just say you're just my friend or a driver. I said, I don't mind. But obviously, I think the gentleman knew that something more was happening. I met him and I remember when he shook my hand, he just said, OK, we saw him the day we were tra traveling back to London. And he said, look after yourselves. But he didn't say nothing. I didn't tell him I was in a relationship with Rian. But to me, I wanted him to put a face to something and know that this is the guy who is always around my daughter. Nicholas likes to travel uh, and the first place that we went to together was Turkey. We went to Bodrum and uh, that's when I knew that this was the woman I'm going to spend the rest of my life with. And I remember being very scared, being worried, like I've never been to, you know, such a foreign country, far from home. But um, I thought at the same time this should be a good adventure for us. Next one I think was the birth of our baby. She's called Bella. She's one year old, Nicholas. He's always a happy person. You could put him in any place in the world and he doesn't, you know, nothing phases him. I think she's a very, very, very pretty woman. She's very caring. Loving, very intelligent, full of life and adaptive to any situation. She's loving, she's very stubborn very very stubborn so in the end like everything but why but why even when you tell her that don't drive through that way the, she wants to know why, why am i not driving he's a very attractive man very uh, he likes very well dressed he likes to match everything and every day plan his outfits and plan his ties for work i promise rianne and i think this she can say i've never let her down I'll always continue with what I've been doing, being a man of my word, and I'll not let her down. I'm going to protect her and look after her, as her dad asked me to. And not only her, but even our family and our daughter. I'll work hard, as I always do, like I'll do everything possible to see that my family doesn't go without anything. Nicholas, Fred, I promise you that I will continue to aim to give you the best of me because I truly feel that you give me the best of you and I want to you know, make sure that we remain the best of friends, we remain giving each other exactly what we need to grow, to grow into better people, grow into better parents, 
grow into better, you know, children of our, to our parents. I promise you that I will continue to support you in whatever way you need me to support you. I'll continue to listen to you. I love you very much. I think you're the best person that would have been suited to me and I think I'm the best person suited to you. And so for that, I promise that I will live the rest of my life with you and hope that we grow happily into old age together. So thank you very much, Rianne, if you're going to be able to see this one day.